All right, so today we are going to review the distributive property and simplifying like terms, which we have done earlier this year, but you guys are still struggling on it a little bit. So I'm gonna go over a couple examples and then you're gonna practice a little bit today. All right, so first thing, we know what like terms are. Like terms have the same variable, so 2x, negative x, 5x, those are all like terms. 5y squared, negative y squared, a half y squared. Those are all like terms. They have the same variable. All right. So today we're going to work on combining like terms. Before we can do that, we need to review the distributive property. So first example of the distributive property, um, in case you forgot, distributive property looks like this. All right. What this means is we have two groups of negative x minus 5. Now, we could write it out as negative x minus 5 plus another negative x minus 5. I have two groups of it, and I could put all the x's together and the 5's together. Or a quicker way to do that, that we've done in the past, we have multiplied. All right, so I'm going to add the opposite here first. Then I'm going to do 2 times negative x, which I know is negative 2x plus 2 times negative 5. It's negative 10. All right, so that would be my simplified answer using the distributive property. I'm going to show you another distributive property. This time there's going to be three numbers. All right, so maybe I have this. Negative 5 minus 2x minus 8, and in parentheses, 4 on the outside. All right, just because the 4 is in the back, you still use the distributive property the same way. All right, so I'm going to go inside here, and I'm going to add the opposite and add the opposite. And okay, now I'll use the distributive property. So it doesn't matter where I start, I can go all the way to the front, so I'll do 4 times negative 5, which is negative 20, plus 4 times negative 2x, be negative 8x, and finally, plus 4 times negative 8 is negative 32. If I look at this problem here, this expression, I see that I can still put some like terms together. Just my normal integers, those are like terms, so I'm going to put those together. So negative 20 and negative 32 is negative 52, plus negative 8x. This would be my simplified expression. All right, so let me show you one with uh, fractions. All right, maybe we have a half on the outside. On the inside, we have 4x plus 2. All right, I'm going to do it the same way as I did the other problems. I'm going to take a half times 4x. Now, if you can't do that in your head, you need to write it out, a half times 4x. Now this is a fraction, this is not. I can still put a 1 underneath there to make it a fraction. Now I can multiply. Okay, when we multiply fractions, remember we go straight across, but before we do that, we can try to cross simplify. All right, so I'll, 2 goes into 2 once, it goes in here twice. Now I'm going to multiply straight across. 1 times 2x is 2x, 1 times 1 is 1. So really, this equals 2x. So this first part is going to give me 2x. Plus, now I'm going to do a half times 2. All right, so if I do a half times 2, I'll put 2 over 1, get cross simplify, and I get 1. So my simplified answer is 2x plus 1. All right, so let's try a couple longer ones. Okay, so here's our first problem. Let's try one like this. Um, negative 4, parentheses, x minus 2 plus 3, parentheses, minus 5x, minus negative 2. All right, so we have a problem that we want to simplify. So first thing I'm going to do, all right, I'm going to go through and I'm going to add the opposite. Add the opposite. Add the opposite. All right, next thing I'm going to use my distributive property to simplify this part. Okay, so negative 4 times x, negative 4x, plus negative 4 times negative 2, negative times a negative, positive 8, plus negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. All right, I took care of all of that stuff. I'm going to rewrite the rest of it. Okay, I'm going to look for like terms that I can put together. So I'm going to start with the x's. I have negative 4x, negative 5x. That is negative 9x together. Okay, I'll put my normal numbers together. So 8 and 2 is 10. Plus negative 12 is negative 2. So my simplified answer is negative 9x plus negative 2. 
All right, so let's do one more. All right, one more with fractions. All right, so maybe I'll give you some terms like this. Uh, a third x plus a half x plus five six x. All right, so these are like terms. They all have the variable x. We need to put them together. Okay, we put like terms together by adding their coefficients. The number part is the coefficient. All right, so before I can add these fractions, I need a common denominator, which would be 6. All right, so I'm going to change these to 6. So 3 times 2, so 1 times 2 is 2. So that's the same as 2 6x plus a half. I know that's the same as 3 6x plus 5 6x. All right, now when I'm adding fractions, I just add their numerators. So 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 5 more is 10 6x. All right, if I look at this, this is improper, so I can change it to a fixed number. 6 goes into 10 one time with 4, 6 left over. I'm going to simplify that. So it's really 1 and 2 thirds x. That would be my simplified answer. All right, now you guys are going to try some on a worksheet. Um, so you can practice those. You can check um, with the teacher. She can tell you if you have them right or wrong. Okay, make sure you're on your best behavior. This worksheet is due tomorrow, so take your time on it, do your best, and now you have some work done.